the 9th to the 10th of November in 1938, in which Jewish shops and businesses in Germany were destroyed, looted and Jews attacked simply for being Jews. While this revealed the, dark, the darkness of humanity, there was a glimmer of light, a light in the form of one Yorta Yorta Aboriginal man, William Cooper. In the Australian Aborigines League, who led the march to the German consul in Melbourne protesting the treatment of the Jews in, in Europe. The rest of the world was silent. There was time for silence, but now there was a time to speak. The rest of the world was silent, but William Cooper, they spoke up. They clearly saw the devastating effects of pure hatred. And they, they had the chutzpah to speak out against anti-Semitism and to speak up for the Jewish people. Kristallnacht ripped through Germany, Austria, suited land and thus soon began, began the systematic murder of six million Jews, including one million children. We know the barbaric event as the Holocaust an evil object to completely annihilate the Jewish people. When we look at that word Hamas, it is a word of violence. And I call on the Australian government, I call on every government in every state, even in the state of Queensland, to stand and support the Jewish people. Amen. I'm Israel High. The cry they since then has been never again. However, never again is now. Early on September, 7th of October, sorry, 2023, the Hamas terrorist from Gaza rampaged through Israel, slaughtering more than 1,400 Jews in the most horrific, torturous, barbaric fashion imaginable. Jewish people around the world, never safe in their homes, with some removing mutsas, masseuses from their doors. Anything identifying their Jewishness, children, children staying home from school, university students having to sit exams in safe rooms, random attacked, attacks by frenzied mobs, the baying for blood at a Russian airport, the pulling down of posters of kidnapped Jews and the streets of Australia's cities being taken over by pro-Hamas rallies calling gas to Jews, all of which was haunting the haunting shades of Nazi Germany about it. Indigenous Friends of Israel recognises that Jewish people are the indigenous people of Israel. Jewish people have been in the land we now call Israel since the time of Abraham, 4,000 years ago. Jerusalem was made the capital of the Jewish state 3,000 years ago by King David. As indigenous friends of Israel, we condemn the inaccurate propaganda that Israel is a racist, apartheid, colonizer state. Israel is not made up of white European Jews who came out as refugees after the Holocaust. Jews are of all colour. And is, it is the most multicultural nation in the world. Today, we look at before us, all our families, friends and supporters, and we ask who of you will be the next William Cooper? Who among you will stand up against 
the tide of hate and say, hate has no home here. It has no home here. <laughs> Who among you will stand beside your Jewish friends and say, we will not tolerate anti-Semitism. And I stand here with you from the tribes of Tirubal, Barbaram, and Tablanjir Yidunji, I stand with you and say we will not to tolerate anti-Semitism. <laughs> we as the Indigenous Friends of Israel invite you to stand with us, to stand with humanity, to honour the actions of one brave Aboriginal man, William Cooper, and shed a silver light on these very dark times. My family, the Jewish people here today and all over the world, I stand with you. I stand with you. I am your family. I stand with you. Amen. Amen.